the protesters took to the streets of Umwaya and to the state's office of NLC. There, they demanded that the NLC should protect their interests by presenting their demands to the state government. The staff, through the leadership of the Medical and Health Workers Union, HMB, urged the NLC to help press home their demands. NLC is supposed to have protected our interests as a union under them. Generally, really, governments are owing us. But we have people that are, we are under as a union that are responsible at least to sort out this thing with the government. We are not supposed to go direct to the government and start talking about our salary when we have a union like NLC. We are protesting because of our nine months arrears. We've not been paid for nine to ten months now. We want government to listen to us because already we are dying of hunger. We don't pay our school fees for the children. Our landlords are pushing us out of the houses. But our children don't go to school again. We are not happy. And the worst part of it is that when we see other workers that are being paid, why HMB is not being paid, it's quite unfair. To show solidarity to the cause of the protesting staff, the state chairman of the Medical and Health Workers Union of Nigeria, Obon Naya Okoro, urged the NLC to heed their request. He lamented that the non-payment of salaries of the staff of the board has hindered them from performing their responsibilities to their families. The protest is a right step in the right direction. A worker deserves his wages. Because of this situation, we have embarked on JSU state strike. And at the end of that strike, when government pleaded with the, the Johesu, we suspended the strike and we had an agreement, a written agreement with them that they will be paying two, two months. That's uh, uh, the new month and the one month back. So that within a period, they will clear those backlog of uh, areas. They told us that they will do it. But shortly after that agreement, they started putting up excuses. And up till now, that time it was five months. But now it has skyrocketed to 10 months. And it's unfair. When the protesters got to the state office of the NLC, the chairman, Uchenna Obigwe, assured that their salaries could be paid. He, however, urged them to direct their grievance to the government through appropriate channels. Obigwe said that the NLC, as a pressure group, is not saddled with the responsibility of payment of salaries. They are free to protest uh, for non payment of their salaries. But the only thing that, like I told them, uh, they went to the wrong place. They are coming to NLC, means that they are not versatile with uh, what they should do. Uh, the NLC don't keep money. NLC only negotiate and they pray on government to do the right thing. So they should have gone to government, particularly the office of the head of service. It should be recalled that members of the board have continually protested non-payment of salaries. It is hoped that the government will meet their demand and ameliorate their sufferings. Okamaka Madoka, MCL News.